Number 5, 2020 of the Journal for Forge of Empires. Again, we have a nice mixture of news in Forge of Empires. The art exhibition I already announced in an earlier issue of this journal. With the update 1.173, it went live a couple of weeks ago. At least theoretically, as you will not see this building very often at the Antiques Dealer, I heard from many players that they want to get this brand new building. I also collected some trade coins and gemstones to barter it. The building's advantages are really interesting. You buy the Art Exhibition Selection Kit or win it in an auction. With the first Selection Kit you build the Level 1 Art Exhibition and with all other Selection Kits you decide for the upgrade. As usual, the building gets better with every new level. The price for buying the kit is 28,350 trade coins and 63 gemstones. Buying all 8 kits requires 226,800 trade coins and 504 gemstones. My stock should be sufficient then. Now, the antiques dealer only must offer it often enough. Absolutely new is the upgrade kit for the Shrine of Knowledge. This event building was the most popular building in Forge of Empires during its first six years. On level 2 it provides two forge points every day if it got motivated. The number of coins was increased slightly, the population added but it grew significantly. This could be relevant for players who have difficulties to make their people enthusiastic, example given because they leveled a great building giving population a bit too much. From now on the Antiques dealer will also offer some more items from previous events. The ship level 1, the ship upgrade kit, fall mill level 1, fall mill upgrade kit, three buildings of the classical garden set, the colossus statue selection kit, the winter spire selection kit and the piazza selection kit. Soon we will see three more levels of the statue of honor in the game. Those who are very active in guild battlegrounds already have more than one of these buildings in their city. To make it attractive for them in the future, InnoGames added three new levels. With each level a daily forge point is added and also the other properties got improved. Players being active in guild battlegrounds get really spoiled. Nine forge points on a 3x4 floor size plus coins and the benefits for the guild, goods and might make this being the most efficient building in the game. It remains to be very profitable to fight or negotiate in guild battlegrounds. Since March 2nd we have a new technology tree. Combined the age specific images show a city from stone age to space age Astoriad belt. In the minimized view you immediately see where a technology is still missing. You can then open that individual age. We no longer need to scroll along in a never ending technology tree. Now you can see very good which technologies enable something special in the game, example given guilds, great buildings or daily challenges. I think InnoGames implemented this very well. A great prerequisite for adding some more ages.